going to create a turkey using Google Drawing. To get started, you need a blank Google Drawing. Here my background is transparent. To change it, you can do a right click or two finger click on the background, choose background, and here I chose white. First, we're going to create the body. So up here in the toolbar, we're going to go to shapes and choose the circle and go ahead and draw the circle to my desired size. You'll notice it fills in blue. We're going to use the paint bucket to fill it in a brown color. We're going to create the tail feathers. Again, returning to the shapes, I'm going to browse and look for a shape where I can create the tail feathers. What you will notice here is I'm going to try out a variety of different shapes here until I settle on one that I like. And the neat thing is here, there are no rules. You could have created individual tail feathers. I've seen students use the sun shape to create the tail feathers. This really allows maximum creativity. So I encourage you to explore the different shapes until you settle on one that gives you the desired effect that you want. Now that I have settled on my desired shape, you can use the yellow diamonds to adjust the curve in the corners and then use the blue sides to adjust the size. With the size the way that I want, I'm going to change the color by going to the paint bucket and choosing a contrasting color. And you may have to try out a few to you, you settle on the color that you want. Next, you're going to do a right click on this object, go to order and send it to the back. That's going to send it behind the body of the turkey. Next, I want to add several layers of these tail feathers. So I'm going to duplicate this. My favorite way to duplicate on a Mac is hold down the option key and then do a click and drag. If you're on a PC or a Chromebook, you can do the same thing by holding down the control button. Next, I'm going to resize it, choose a contrasting color, and order it, send it to the back. And I'm going to repeat this process so that I have three layers of tail feathers. With my tail feathers complete, this turkey is ready for some feet. I'm going to go up to my shapes and take a look and see if I find any suitable for feet. Not happy with any of those, I'm going to transition to the polyline tool. Now the polyline tool allows you to create closed shapes in any shape that you want. So as so I create these feet, I am clicking wherever I want a point to be and then making sure at the top that I create a closed shape and join it together so that I can go to the paint bucket and fill it. With one foot complete, I'm going to go ahead and select it and make a duplicate of it. And because these are so close, I'm going to drag my duplicate foot off to the side so that I can modify it a little bit so it doesn't look exactly the same as the first foot. Notice when you double click on this polyline shape, you get these little purple nodules and you can move those around to adjust the shape. Now I'm going to put my foot back to the turkey and... I will need to send it to the back so it is behind the body. Next, I'm going to work on the head of my turkey. And because it's going to contain a lot of small parts, I recommend working off canvas here. That way you can layer your shapes and work with them together and then move them onto your turkey as one unified shape. So, so far I've created a head. I'm using a triangle for the beak. You can rotate the shapes by clicking and turning on that little ball at the top. 
This is the eye for my turkey. I drew it off of the shape and then used the arrows to move it onto the shape. A trick is if you want to move it just a little bit, hold down the shift key while you press your arrows and that will actually just move a shape one pixel at a time. Next I'm going to draw the red parts of the turkey's head. So I go back to the shapes and look for a shape and decide on the lightning bolt. And I'm going to follow the same pattern here. Draw, fill, rotate and resize as needed, and then put it in the order required. So I'm going to do this for the bottom part, which I know is called the wattle. Not sure what the top part of the turkey's head is called. So after a little resizing, now my turkey is ready for a neck. Back to the shapes. I'm going to use the cylinder shape for the neck. Again, drawing it off canvas so I can get the sizing proportions right. Use the fill tool to choose desired color. And now I'm going to use my arrows to move it into place. Remember you can hold down the shift key to move one pixel at a time and I'm going to go to the range menu and send it to the back. Next I want to group these objects. To do that I'm going to highlight all of them. Then you can go to arrange and select group. That's going to allow me to move this collection of shapes as a single unit. So now it's ready to select and move on to the body of my turkey. I'm going to repeat this process with the turkey by selecting all of my turkey and then going to the arrange menu and choosing group. Now I can move my turkey off to the side so I have space for my greeting. And finally, I'm going to add my greeting by using word art and typing Happy Thanksgiving and creating a custom gradient for my word art. Now I have a separate video on exactly how to do this that I will link above. If you learned something new in this video, Give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for future videos. Until next time, bye everyone.